Welcome to the first chapter of the second part, part B of the textbook on sustainability management. This first chapter of the second part of this textbook is about stakeholder management. And with that, we're going to kick off an entire part here of the book where we talk about different stakeholders and how they relate to sustainability management, how sustainability management relates to influence these different stakeholders. In this Basically, this overview chapter on the entire part B on stakeholder, stakeholder management, you will learn a couple of things. You will be able afterwards to explain who are stakeholders and you will be able to explain how different stakeholders can have an impact on companies and vice versa. And that is basically the most important defining element of stakeholders because stakeholders can either influence companies or they are influenced by companies. And in that regard, they are important for sustainability management. You will then be able to distinguish different types of stakeholders. Basically, we will have a look at internal and external stakeholders and at primary and secondary stakeholders. Through that differentiation, you will learn that stakeholders and their interests can be very heterogeneous. They're not always in line and that makes stakeholder management a rather complex task for many companies. You will then be able to differentiate different yeah, theories, different approaches to stakeholder theory, descriptive, instrumental, normative and integrative stakeholder theory. And these are all are these theories dif provide different reasons why companies should engage in stakeholder management. Furthermore, you will be able to discuss why legitimacy is important for companies and how stakeholders might influence companies' legitimacy. Basically, legitimacy and social acceptance are resources, scarce resources that need to be managed by companies and sustainability management can be an element of managing these resources. They can help to secure legitimacy in the long run. You will then be able to apply a three-step approach of practical stakeholder management. And you will learn that stakeholder management is an ongoing task that might follow these three ideal steps of stakeholder identification first, so get to know who are your stakeholders as a company. Then stakeholder prioritization, so who are the most important ones and who are maybe less important. And strategy development, how to deal with these different types of stakeholders. You will then be able to categorize stakeholders according to their power, legitimacy and urgency and explain the differences of in total nine categories of stakeholders, latent, expectant and definite stakeholders and how these um, can be approached, how companies can manage these different types of stakeholders. Um, these three dimensions are used to categorize stakeholders in a model into these three groups and that helps companies to better approach stakeholders and prioritize. We again have different features. First we'll talk about Robert Freeman. Robert Freeman is basically the face of stakeholder management, stakeholder theory. He coined the um, uh, this term already uh, in the 1980s through his research. We will then talk about sustainability in research with um, an article of Donaldson and Preston from 1995 on stakeholder theory, on these different types of stakeholder theory that I mentioned on the previous slide. We will talk about sustainability in business, Volkswagen's diesel emissions scandal, how that relates to stakeholders, and also about ExxonMobil's stakeholder mismanagement, in this case, through misleading climate change communication. And we will then have a positive example of strategic stakeholder management at a very um, controversial company, Shell, Shell Philippines, who in the Philippines engaged in an interesting approach to stakeholder management that is worth noting. 